How y'all doing, folks? Uh, I'll try not to be too long-winded in this one. It seems like all you gotta do is express your opinion, and my God, did the haters and trolls come out. Anyway, I ain't been so beat up in all my life as I have from people that disagree with me about when one should draw their Social Security. <clears throat> and I have tried to impress upon people that everyone's situation is different. Your situation is different than mine. I'll guarantee you that. But some people say, oh no, I enjoy working. I don't want to retire at 62 year old. I, w I want to work. I like to work. You must be, you must have a hell of a job. Well, hell, I don't want to work. I mean, I do work, but I do stuff I enjoy doing. I'm spending my life, the later years of my life, trying to enjoy every single day. See, the only problem with having a job is you got a double SOB that comes with it. That's a boss spelled backwards. I don't know, job. But <clears throat> I'm hoping that there's some people 50 years or younger that's watching this so you can prepare for your retirement. There's so many people I talk to who say, I can't afford to retire. I'm going to have to work till the day I die. And I'm like, why? Why is it that people don't plan for the future? Uh, I'm not going to sit here and make this a bragging contest and talk about why I don't have to work no more. I'm not going to go into all that. But one argument that we seem to be having with some people is they say, there's no way I would draw my Social Security at 62. Well, folks, my birthday's next week, and I applied for my Social Security four months ago. And I'll get my first check off in October. But the people argue that if you wait, each year you wait, you get 8% more. That is and is not true. Your check is 8% higher, but that doesn't mean you get more unless you live much longer. Now, I'm not going to bore you with a spreadsheet. I am going to put the numbers here on the screen for you. But I want you to imagine that your Social Security check is $100. These are just easy numbers, okay? And it don't and you can add a zero to it, say a thousand dollars if you wanted to. The percentage is not going to change. And let me explain this to you. Each year that you delay drawing your Social Security, your check will be eight percent higher than when you were sixty-two. Now, you sit there and you say, well. Shoot, if I wait three years, my $100 check be $124. Yeah, what about them three years you missed? So, this is going to blow your mind. <clears throat> now, I realize some of you, you know, are having to work past 62 because you need the money and, and you don't have everything you own paid for and all that kind of stuff. I understand. I, you know, I don't need to hear your stories. No offense, but I understand. We're all different, okay? But here's why I took mine at 60. Oh, by the way. Well, you, you're screwing your wife over by taking it so early because it's a lesser amount. No, no. My wife worked for the same employer for 26 years in a row, and her Social Security is a hell of a lot bigger than mine. So she will never draw on me. Her Social Security is bigger. She will draw hers, okay? So we got that out of the way. All right, 62 year old. You, you Social Security checks of hundred dollars, but if you wait until you're 63, it's a hundred and eight dollars. It's eight dollars more. It's eight percent higher. 
Now, how long do you think? Don't try to don't try don't try to figure it out. Just your initial reaction. Think to yourself. How long will it take for me to catch up? In other words, at what age will I be when I'll say, boy, I sure am glad that I waited that year because I've been drawing this $108 instead of $100. This is what blows your mind. What people forget is it's not that one month of $100 you try to make up that $100. It's the 12 months that you draw, but you draw that $1,200 before you turn 63. And now then you've only got $8 a month going towards trying to catch up. It takes 13 and a half years. 13 and a half years to break even. So I would be 75 and a half years old before I would say, man, I sure do wish I hadn't drawn at 62 because I'd be getting an extra $8 a month right now. But, now, keep in mind, if you're drawing 1000 then it'd be an extra 80 okay? It's percentage, it's 8%. So I'm sitting here saying, 13 and a half years? Why, well, hell, show me the money now. Okay? I'll take my money now, thank you. Thirteen and a half years just to make up for that one year delay. Oh yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna get that extra eight percent. Well brother, we're both right there neck and neck. I've got more money in my pocket than you do until Thirteen and a half years have passed for me. Twelve and a half years. Well, what if what if we say, well, what about age sixty-four? We're drawing hundred and sixteen dollars instead of a hundred. It takes fourteen and a half years. You're seventy-six and a half years old. Bob's butcher shop, you can't beat my meat. I guess they didn't want to talk. <laughs> anyway, at age 64, you decide, okay, I'm going to start drawing now. Instead of drawing at 62, I'm waiting until I'm 64. Because I can get it $16 a month more. 16% more. It takes 14 and a half years to catch up. You're 76 and a half years old. Or I, you know, using me for example. Well, what if I wait till I'm 65 to start drawing? Then I'd be drawing 124%. I'd be drawing $24 on 100 more. Still gonna take 15 and a half years to catch up. 70, I'll, be, I'll be 77 and a half year old before I would have said, man, I wish I hadn't took it at 62. Let me run through, I'm not, now I'm gonna run through this real quick. I'll show a little table at the end where you can look at it. If I wait till I'm 66, then I would be 78 and a half years old before we'd reach the break-even point. Before drawing at 66 would begin to outpace drawing at 62. Drawing at 67, I'd be 79 and a half years old. Drawing at 68, I'd be 80 and a half years old. Wait until I'm 69, I'd be 81 years and seven months before I'd ever catch up to all that money I drew since I was 62 at $100 a month. And the magic number of 70, I'm waiting until I'm 70. My God, I get a hell of a lot more money. Yeah. And 20 years and seven months from now would be the time I'd be saying, damn. I sure do wish I hadn't started drawing at 62 because when I'm 82 years and seven months old then I'd be saying boy I sure wish I had that hundred 
I, I wish I had that $164 instead of that 100 Because you're talking about 64% more. You're talking about eight years, waiting eight years. You're not just waiting eight years, even at age 70. The guy drawing at 62 is money ahead of the guy that waits until he's 70 until we're 82 years and seven months of age. So, I hope that that's helped you. That's just one aspect of it now. That's not the whole, that's not everything. All I'm doing is breaking down the dollars. People say, well, what about health insurance? I'm not getting into health insurance. Everybody's got their own life they live. I've got, I've got insurance through the VA, okay? I'm a veteran. I'm a retired disabled veteran. So I've got my health insurance covered. My wife, she's a veteran also. She can get health coverage through the VA. So everybody's situation is different. So whatever you planned for when you were younger is catching up to you now. If there's anybody young out there right now, especially in the 40s, you got now's the time to plan where you want to be when you're 62 you know multiple streams of income if you ever get the opportunity to read that book multiple streams of income it might help you well hope i didn't bore you to tears i did want to point that out that's to answer the the, the question about the guy saying well i'm waiting because i get an extra eight percent a month yeah, but don't forget about all the money the guy at 62 has already got in his pocket while well, you're trying to catch up. That's my only argument about that, folks. So, some of you can't save money. Some people, it's, it's like water rushing through your fingers. You can't hold on to it. So be it. Some people say, man, I, I, just, I just can't retire right now. I didn't plan well enough for my older years or my midlife crisis, whatever, my early retirement years. If you didn't plan for it, I understand. You're paying for it now. But don't, if, don't just sit there and say, well, I could draw my Social Security right now because I'm really not working. I'm just piddling around. I think I'll just wait and get a bigger check. It don't work that way just for the money. Now, again, those of you that has a spouse, and that spouse is going to grow, draw on yours. That's something you need to go talk to Social Security people about. Don't talk to somebody on the internet. Go find out from straight from the source. What's the deal? If I die, what does my wife get? And let them tell you, okay? All I'm doing is bringing up one point here talking about one factor in all the big picture that you've got to select from. I'll shut up now. Y'all have a wonderful day and a better tomorrow. Bye everybody.